Alright, hi! And first off, I'd like to say uh, welcome, and we're excited to teach you about some of the exciting stuff going on in neuroimaging today. Uh, but to get started, we are going to make sure that we all are working in the same environment. Uh, so why are we going to install this virtual machine? It's because a lot of the packages that we use have uh, some complex dependencies, and we might run into strange errors that uh, we don't want to spend the entire class debugging uh, and that we'd rather just get down to the cool stuff. So that's why we're all going to use a virtual machine. The first step to completing this goal is to download the virtual box via the link here. Um, this will be provided, this entire website, this link will be provided for you to follow along as well. The notebook might look a little bit different, um, a little bit more fleshed out, but the steps I'm walking through today are going to be basically what you need to get done. So again, uh, the first step is just to download VirtualBox, which is what we're going to be using to load our NeuroDebian virtual machine. Uh, I've already downloaded it, but we can take a look here uh, at the link. And the VirtualBox 5.2.0 is the current version out there. And since I'm on Windows, I'm going to click on the Windows host. If you're using Mac, you're going to click on the OS X host, Linux, uh, Solaris, other operating systems that we're probably not going to be dealing with. But if you do have a computer that uses that operating system, you can contact me directly. And after we download that, we can open it up. It'll put a link right on your desktop here. It'll give us this nice interface. And the next step is to download the, virtu the NeuroDebian virtual machine. So this will be a direct download, so it'll start downloading as soon as you open it up. We can see that right there, it's downloading. Uh, I've already downloaded that previously, so we don't need to deal with that. Uh, since that, again, will take several minutes to download. And now, what we're going to do from this step is that we're going to go to File, Import, Appliance, and select the appliance to import, and we're going to go to Downloads, where we downloaded the NeuroDebian uh, virtual machine image, and that's right here. We're going to click, uh, select that one, select Open, and we're going to click on next. Now there are a couple of settings here that you can change for the configuration. Um, if you want to know how much, how many CPUs or how much RAM is on your computer, you can either go to settings. Ooh, no, I just want to go to regular settings. click on system, click on about. This I can see uh, at least the type of my processor, which is an i5, which generally means it has uh, four threads. Uh, with the laptop version, that means they have two CPUs, four threads. Uh, and then installed RAM, I have 12 gigs, so that's a good amount. Uh, you might either have this much, 16, 8, or 4, uh, and that'll determine uh, how much RAM you want to give your virtual machine here. Uh, if you want to check to see how many CPUs you have in case you, s you don't know what i5 or whatever processor you have means in terms of the number of CPUs, you can hit Control alt delete select your task manager, and go to the Performance tab. And it'll tell you how many cores and logical processors. So the number that we care about is the logical processors, since that's effectively how many processes can run at the same time. So I have four. And how that's going to translate here is I'm going to give two of those to my virtual machine. Then for RAM, if we're doing uh, for our work, we probably want at least uh, two, two gigs of, uh, of RAM but for me, I'm going to give it four gigs about. So I'm going to do 4096, which translates 
to four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, and finally, we're gonna change the network adapter here. Uh, this may just be me, but I found better performance with the pair virtualized network. And I think all the other settings are A-OK -okay as default. So I'm gonna hit import, agree, And this might take a minute or two, but generally it occurs pretty quickly. There we go. All right. So now we have our neurodebian environment, and we already have it configured and downloaded. So the next step is just to start it up. I'll go through the boot process. It might look a little weird, but um, this is all normal, normal, normal. Let me get rid of these comments. And while we're waiting on that, we're gonna look at step three. So I'm gonna get prepped for that. So I'm gonna right click this link up here and say copy link address. All right, so here it's gonna ask you for the setup wizard. I'm not gonna use that today, so hit okay, then I'm gonna hit no. Then the next step is that we're gonna click on this web browser. Just works, nice, thanks Chromium. And from that link address that we copied before, we're gonna control V while we're inside the virtual machine here and we're going to head to this link and what this file contains is uh, all the packages that we want to install and all the configurations that we're going to do uh, just so that you don't have to deal with them so I'm just gonna uh, set this up for you guys so we can just download this file do the direct download option we're gonna keep it and now the next step is is that we're gonna click on this little black box computer looking thing called the termulator term <laughs> termulator terminal emulator and we are going to copy the commands that are listed here so first thing we're gonna CD which means change directories into downloads uh, and when you paste into a terminal you have to hit control shift V instead of just control V that's an important point I'll probably update that in the notebook uh, and then when we're in downloads this is where this uh, file that we downloaded is located by default um, Linux operating systems do not make these files executable because as we said as we saw when we tried to download it it said this file can be harmful to your computer which just means any file that you download from the internet uh, could potentially ruin your computer uh, but I made this file so you guys can trust me I hope so chmod just means we can make the file executable and then finally we're going to run the install file and this little t command means in addition to printing out everything that it does to the terminal screen it's also going to print out to this um, log.txt file so this will be good when or if uh, something goes wrong during the install and you'll be able to provide us information so that we can better debug the situation. So once we start, you should feel like a hacker and this text will be going down the screen with all the commands that are running from the, from the file that I had you download. So this is going to take uh, probably 30, 
40 minutes, maybe even up to an hour depending on your internet connection speed. Uh, so before you run this, make sure that you have a lot of time to let it run. Alright, so I showed you some terminal commands over here on the, the Jupyter page. Um, so if you need some more guidance on how to use this terminal or what the heck is this terminal thing, you can follow this guide right here uh, where you can at least uh, read the introduction and introducing the shell. And if you are actually going to complete this tutorial, I don't know how much of this that we're actually going to assign, if any, or if it's just going to be um, a useful read. But if you do do this, we're going to want to do it through the virtual machine. So again, we can copy and paste the link there. And this is where you're going to want to do any of the tutorial stuff. All right, and that's everything that I had to say today. Good luck and happy